Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping in again. The last run with Andromeda here, as you can see, was absolutely crazy. We keep getting tinted. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Ah! <coughs> <I'm> like, <coughs> ah! I'm dying. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Okay, we're okay. Give me someone different. Lilith, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> oh lord. Oh sweet. Baby Jesus, I'm dying. Okay, anyways. <laughs> After that um intro, whatever whatever you want to call that. Um yeah, well we'll just we'll just continue on and pretend everything's fine. Oh hello there. Um I think this is the best option. It most certainly was. We got a tier eight upgrade. I very much like that. And we got ourselves Aw, oh, sticky nickel. Why? 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 Mum's pad. <clears throat> Wah! What the hell? Still considering just making her active a pocket item, but still. Whatever. We'll we'll just deal with it for now. We'll just deal with it. But yeah, uh, for the question of the day today, I feel like I've already asked this, so I'm gonna give an alternate just in case. So the question of the day that I came up with is, what's the worst film you've ever seen? And I think I've asked that before, but it was a really long time ago and I don't remember the answers. And there's always new people watching, so I feel it kind of fits anyways. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to know. And for the alternate, for the alternate, it is just how are you doing? And if you aren't doing well, let me know. Message me on Discord. We'll have a chat. Dude, get this black ball off my chin. Um, message me on Discord, whatever. We'll have a little chat. I'm always willing to uh, to talk to people. Oh my god, I'm still dying a little bit. Dude, this ball. Go away. This is... These aren't first floor enemies. <laughs> Take them away. <clears throat> I think it's because I've just eaten. And I'm just like, <clears throat> choking on my own life. Just get ready for the many troll bombs that this guy's going to throw at us. Get ready for that. I'm, I'm going to try and not destroy the uh, orbs when I can. Just so... We don't have troll bombs everywhere. <clears throat> We're actually killing this guy pretty quick, so that's nice. God, that thing's fast. No! Oh, that was so close. Okay, we troll bombed, but we got away with it. We got ourselves placenta, and we got ourselves a deceiver heart, which was unknown. Okay. I guess that, that, that just means it's a heart that's not actually a heart. Interesting. It just gave us some stuff. I like it. Anyways. Anyways. We move on. Yeah, so... It, if, if I've already asked that, or you don't want to answer it, or you don't really have one, just how are you doing? A general how are you doing? But, I don't know why, but for some reason, I have a passion to just talk about bad films today. Talk about bad films. Because, I mean, <clears throat> for me, there's definitely a few. There's definitely a few that are that are in the list. Ooh, hello. I'll, uh... Hmm, I'll hold on to that for now. Yeah, there's definitely a few in the list that are, uh, that are definitely up there. Oh, my lord. I'm... I'm getting pummeled right now. Pummeled. Big sad. I think, obviously, for anyone that has seen it, um, The Room is is pretty well up there. Which is... It, the Room's kind of a funny one, actually. Because, for one, it, it is a good film in the sense that it's so, so terribly awful that it's actually enjoyable to watch just because of how bad it is. Um, so, in that way, it's kind of good. But... For the longest time, I don't know if anyone else had this, but I got The Room confused with Room. There's a film called Room. <clears throat> and I thought, when everyone was on about this absolutely awful film, they were talking about Room. And for any of you that have seen Room, it would be very weird for people to be calling that a really bad film. One, because the film's actually really good, but also the context of it. I mean, a film can have a, a sensitive context and still be bad, but like... This film is bit, uh, Room is, it, I think it's starring Brie Larson, and basically the film is about, um, a woman that gets kidnapped, um, and kept in, like, a shed, or, like, an underground sort of bunker thing, and, like, this little underground room, and she gets, of course, like, abused and stuff, and, um, she has a kid down there, and, like, this kid has literally never seen the light of day before, all he's ever known is this room, and it's kind of about their escape and it's a it's a really good film very dark but a really good film um and i always used to think that people were talking about that now it's like why do people hate this film so much like it's dark it's maybe not the the, the most um 
enjoyable subject matter for some people, but I think it's really good. <laughs> I was always so like confused at why people were constantly like dogging on it and saying it was so bad. And then eventually, I think I saw a clip from The Room. I think it was when the, uh, cause The Room start got really big in memes for a little while where it was like, um, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. And then, um, what was the other one as well? Um, oh, hi, Mark. That one. When, when them ones got really big, then I was like, ugh, this makes far more sense because this film is awful. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get hit here. Uh, yeah, and I was just so confused. I was just, like, completely lost. I'm really, really glad that I went for the, um, that I went for the boss first. I might still die here, I'll be honest. It's not, not a guarantee that I won't just die because this guy is a champion and... <clears throat> Attacking this guy is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Die, eternal fly. Thank you. Mm. This... Okay, I'm not going to go any further than that, because that could be really treacherous. I want a heart from this, please. Kind of. <laughs> you were close. Do you know what? We'll use that now. We've got two keys. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Pay out with that, really? Oh, God. Green flies are the worst, the worst, the worst for Lilith. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was very confused for the longest time. But I feel like, like I said, th The Room is a bad film. And it's not like it was made to be bad on purpose. So it can't really be ranked like this. But it's, it's bad in a good way. And also it was like really low budget too. Like I wasn't, it wasn't tiny budget, but it was pretty damn low budget. Um... And I think, I think for me, what takes the cake, and like I said, I may have discussed this before, um, but what takes the cake for me and always will as, like, the worst good film I've ever seen, like, as in, like, high budget and a film that some people actually like. <sighs> I was really, really hoping it wouldn't be. Also, Dr. Shrummer, can this game give me a break? This game give me a break. That's two, two of them in a row. Also, a crawl space. Now we don't have any hearts. Luckily, it wasn't one that actually has any items, so I don't have to be too sad. Come on, a soul heart, please. Really? Really gonna drop spiders on me? In fact, crack this. We got another luck upgrade. Okay. Okay. Right. We've got the boss trap room, but we don't have a charge, and I don't know. It's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. We don't have any bombs or anything. That's a dorm myth there. Don't walk in there. It is a health though. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I kind of need to. Okay, so we got you again. Luckily not eternal this time. But yeah, in terms of like actually uh, like a film with a budget, definitely what takes the cake and always will is Alien 3. Oh, Alien 3. You absolute piece of garbage. Um, I, like, a lot of people when I say that say, no, 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 Alien Resurrection is worse, which is the film after. And Alien Resurrection is bad, but there was 100% some self-awareness in the, the awfulness of that film. Like, it feels like there wasn't a serious, like, they weren't making that film super seriously. That's definitely a film where they were like, they took some liberties and messed around a bit. Alien 3, that was a genuine attempt at a good film, and it is... Just a laughable piece of garbage. Its special effects are awful, which is fine, because for the times, a lot of special effects was garbage, but the previous films didn't use special effects. They were practical, they were so much better, so why even use special effects? And the plot's terrible. They ruin um, the main actress's character. Um, can't remember her name now, but they completely ruin her character by, like, making her sleep with some random doctor right off the bat, and I can't remember. There's, like, there's, like no reason why, either. And... Like, the plot of the film is essentially that she, like, crash-landed on this planet. Is it is it Earth? I can't remember. I think it is. But she's crash-landed. And she's at this prison that's, like, a prison for the worst criminals ever. And, when, like, throughout the film, like, the alien gets loose and she has to, like, team up with some of these criminals and stuff. And it tries to make you feel bad for them, like, sacrificing their life and, like different things that they're doing. It tries to kind of make you feel for them. And it's like, 
you established that these characters are some of the worst criminals possible, like rapists and murderers, and you're trying to make me feel things for them? I, I can't understand the logic. Like, you've literally set up these characters to be as dislikable as possible, and then been like, hey, why don't you like them? It's like, what? What? It makes no sense. Thank you for getting that. Very, very good. Very, very nice. So hard there for us. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I, I just like perplexed what, how they thought the audience was going to be like, yes, I connect with this character now. They made a big sacrifice. I'm so sad. And then like, just there's some really, really, really bizarre moments in the film as well. They're just, yeah, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. But the Alien franchise as a whole, oh Lord. Oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm going to die. What the f Flipping hell is this room. What is this room? Yeah, you bastard. What the hell was that room? Having double champions in that kind of ruined me. But anyway, we start again. Uh, ooh, an in, uh, definitely more interesting start than prior. We get um, laser beams. Oh, damn. Laser beams have changed. Laser beams never used to do that before. That's really cool. That's... These are significantly stronger than they used to be. They used to just set enemies on fire. Now... Now they've got some spoice to them. Some spoice. I like it. Okay. But yeah, the rest of the Alien franchise, really good. Even, um... Even the Prometheus, is it called? And then Covenant. Th th those ones weren't very highly regarded, but I really like them. Especially Covenant. I think... For, like, long-term Alien fans, I can maybe get a little more why they didn't like it. Because it's not as... It's not as similar to the classics, really. But 1 and 2, absolute masterpieces in film. They're insanely good. Um, like, so, so good. I really need to rewatch them again. But, yeah, like, Covenant, it adds a bunch of extra story to the film. And... I don't know what is is Alien a thriller? It's definitely not a horror, but it's not it's not really a genre of film that I'm normally that into. But I don't know. I really liked it. I ended up like my first experience with Alien was actually when I was quite young. It was probably when I was like eight or nine. I accidentally well I say accidentally. I watched it on purpose, but I didn't really know what I was watching. I watched um, Alien vs Predator on TV, um, and. Like, even though it kind of scared the bejeebus out of me at the time, I and, and I remember really enjoying it. Which is surprising, because, like, I'm really just, like, not a horror fan in any way, shape, or form. Horror is, is a genre that I just, I can't get down with. I can't. I've tried them. I've been suggested them. Kind of spoke about this on the channel before, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I just can't, I can't really get down with horror films. For me... Fear is just something that I don't want to feel in a situation where I should be enjoying myself. Like, it's just it's just kind of weird. Oh, God. We're getting put up against some horrible bosses and stuff here. I'm trying to think of some other really, really awful films. Damn, we got much better item selections this time around. Much, much better. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other really awful films. Oh, here's one. No, I was gonna say The Shining and, be, and then and then just pretend that I hated The Shining, but no, The Shining's very very good. <laughs> one film that I don't like. I, I I've again, it's very hard to not cover things I've already covered on the channel before. So I apologise for just repeating myself here. But one film that I that I really dislike that like is universally beloved is um oh shit I've gone to say it and I've completely forgotten the name of it. Um, what the hell is it called? I guess we're going very electric based here. The hell is it called? I have completely forgotten the name of it. Well, this this has been good, hasn't it? What the hell is it called? It's the one with the uh, with Samuel Jackson in it. With the um, English motherfucker, do you speak it? What the hell is that called? Why have I completely lost this out of my brain? Everyone knows the film I'm talking about, right? I hope. Oh my god, my brain. My brain is slow today. I, I feel like this is what happens if I do back-to-back -back item recordings, which is what I'm doing today because I need to backlog for the weekend. My brain just dies, and it's like, nah. Nah. We're not going to function today. This is awesome. I really want to get some cool synergies with this. I want to see how this ends up ends up going around. Also, I wonder if my familiars will adopt this tier effect. They should, because of the mods that we're using. I am wondering. God damn. They made this item so much better than it was. 
Yeah, let's take out you first and get death certificate. Not death certificate, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. Familiars are positioned in front of Lith's face. Oh, like Twisted Pear. Okay, that's pretty incredible. We got some really good stuff going on now. We don't we don't need Charles Leash anymore either, so we can get rid of that when we get the opportunity. Kind of glad we died in that other run now, I'll be honest. This run is coming up hunky-dory. Oh, golden champion belt there, baby. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford it. I'm not going to buy anything else. That's a bit sad to see, though. But that is a, there's a good reason it costs 30, though, because it's kind of insane otherwise. Pulp Fiction. I remembered it. It's Pulp Fiction. <laughs> That's a film that I've, I've never really enjoyed. I, I mean, I've only tried watching it once, and I didn't even make it all the way through. I got about 80... I got, like, no, like 70% of the way through, and I was like, eh. So maybe I should give it another go, but I don't know. I just really didn't enjoy the time that I watched it. I need to watch, like, Kill Bill and stuff as well. There's quite a lot of, like, more classic films that are just absolute masterpieces or very highly regarded that I've not really uh, taken a good look at. Yes, he fires lasers too. Hell yes. More lasers the merrier. I, I would like Pentagram, but I'm not going to take it for now. Where else are we going here? Dark Path. Okay. Ugh. I remember one film that I watched, uh, like, when I was really young that I was really scared of as well, being um, War of the Worlds. Uh, I've, I've watched both the old one and the new one. Um, and, yeah, both times. I, like, I watched the older one when I was younger, and that pretty terrified me. And the newer one, I can't remember why I watched that now. I think we had to watch it in, um, in film studies or something. Oh, this has just clued me onto another film that I thought was really terrible, and I apologize if anyone really likes this film. But uh, in, in our media studies at school, we had to watch The Mist. And I'm not kidding when I say I legitimately thought it was a parody, like a, a like a parody horror for quite a long time. Like, it, basically it wasn't until like right at the end of the film that I'm like, oh my God, this film is serious. And I know that like, I've heard that some people really like it. Oh, Shielded Tears again, hell yes. Yeah, I've heard that, like, some people really like it, and, like, but I was, like, do people consider this a good horror film? Because I think it got a... What the hell's going on with these enemies? Holy hell. Um, ooh. Does this work? Yes, it does. Hell yes. This is weird and wacky and strange. I must take it. Oh, ho, ho, so much wigglies. I'll pick up the hermit, why not? So much wigglies. But yeah, like, it got like a TV series recently and stuff. But yeah, I, I, I like genuinely was like, dude, is this like, is this like a joke? <laughs> is this meant to be funny? Because I found it really funny. I didn't find it scary at all. Um, and yeah, I was, when I found out it wasn't, I was like, oh, damn. Oh, no. <laughs> like, was it just me that thought, thought that? Because apparently not that many people thought that. And I'm really, I'm really happy with my rainbow worm now. Rainbow Worm doing his thing. Making our uh, la lasers and tech lasers. All sorts of wiggle waggles. You gotta love it. But yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I think it's because I'd seen like scary movie prior. I think Brain Worm was working then. Yeah, I think it's because I'd seen scary movie prior. Which, by the way, scary movie. Oh, all of them. I mean, I say all of them. One through four are really good. <laughs> they are just hilarious films. And I think it's because I'd seen them, which obviously they parody horror films, um, parody classic horror films. I think it's because I'd seen them that I kind of like, just thought there was like, it's not all the same, but there were some similar tropes in it and similar things in there. So I think I just kind of like, was like, oh shit, it's just a, one, of the, one of these. Do we want to gamble our money away again? Yeah, we'll go for some gambling. I'll take my Zealot Heart early as well, because I can't be asked coming back for it. <clears throat> it was just the Eraser in the shop, wasn't it? Let's be a bit, a bit careful with our money. I'm hoping we get another Familiar pretty soon here. Of course, we get to double these boys up here. Oh, my lord. We might lose our Zealot Heart here, I'll be honest. 
I didn't think we'd get an eternal peep there. It's, it's gone. It's gone. I wasn't expecting an eternal peep, I'll be honest. I should have been. I also routinely forget how this guy functions. I love the way the familiars go around us like that. That's so cool. Looks so good. Right. And down we go again. I just want like two more familiars. Give me a twisted pair. I wouldn't say no to a twisted pair. That would be quite lovely. Oh, we just like half our money. There you go. Some more luck. Our luck is like doing pretty decently already. That last run we had a lot more though. Offers random discount off all shops. I think I'd rather take a pair throw to be honest. A pair throw, like throwing a pair. <laughs> so many puns, so many puns. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I'm in a, I'm in like a slightly hyperactive mood. I always kind of get like this when, for what I've had caffeine, which I've had a minute amount of caffeine today. It's not been much. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of this. I've, I've had like not much caffeine today, but I've been like, I think I, I, I told all you guys that I kind of had like a caffeine OD a little bit a few weeks ago where I was just drinking way too much caffeine. And so I've kind of turned it back a bit since then. Um, and I don't drink anywhere near as much now. So now when I do have it, it kind of affects me more. So I've had like a Pepsi and my caffeine's like spiked already. Um, but I don't know, it kind of, I hope that at least that it kind of leads to more interesting videos where I'm kind of rambling more. One, one thing that's always really nice um, with making videos, you can kind of tell when you get on a good train, a good ramble. Sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it doesn't come, but I don't know, whenever I have to record multiple times in a day, especially multiple Isaacs in a day, I always feel like I get on like quite a good train because I kind of, I mentally prepare for it. It is kind of difficult having to like set aside two to three hours for a day to, to just talk to yourself. Like it's, it's kind of easy to, it, it, it is definitely easy to like kind of lose yourself a little bit. Um, not great, but it is a familiar. I don't think it's one that does much damage, but it is a familiar. It is kind of easy to sort of lose yourself in a way um, and kind of forget what you're talking about, which I do quite often, as you probably know, um, or kind of get lost in your topics or just kind of like run out of things to say, kind of. I think that's one thing that people always sort of ask me or like, especially people like friends in real life that know that I do YouTube, which to be fair is most at this point, and kind of ask like, how is it that you that you are able to talk for so long at one time? And honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know where the ability came from. Um, it's definitely it's definitely not easy. You definitely got to make sure to like fill the air. I feel I feel one thing for me at least with the way that I do my videos is. I know that I can, oh god damn, I know that I can uh, create content as I am right now and kind of talk, talk about the content itself and it not be, I'll risk it, oh, let's, let's double gamble, double gamble, double gamble, let's get back up there, where's, where's the other green one, where's the other green one, oh, yeah, no, straight back down, you ruined us, took every penny from me. Big sack, come on now, come on now. <laughs> Down to eight again. We are rolling so high. Now so low. Oh, come on, back up. Yes. Ah! Oh! <laughs> right before the shop. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I shouldn't have used that there, but it's fine. The laser sound is so nice. Whenever I get the Aroboros worm, I just can't hit a single thing. But yeah, kind of like just talking like I am now, I feel like one thing that kind of cools my nerves about it and one thing that makes it a little easier for me at least is that I know, or at least I'm fairly confident, that most people watching this are watching it passively, not actively. Now, for those of you that are watching actively, I'm glad that you are and I'm, I'm hoping the content's still very enjoyable for you regardless. Um, but a lot of people, the majority of people that watch my videos are watching it passively, where I mean like they're watching it uh, when they go to bed, or they're watching it while they do homework, or they're watching it while they do chores, or they're just watching it while they do other things. And uh, I actually like prefer it, to be honest. I'm gonna take that, yeah. I actually prefer it, to be honest. I, oh, the double, the double. So lucky. Okay, keep going. I actually prefer it, to be honest, because it means that essentially 
I can kind of ramble like I am now without a specific sort of direction in mind and not have to worry about I don't know, not have to worry about being super coherent. That sounds like really bad. It's like, oh, I could just talk any old bullshit and you guys will listen. That's not really what I'm saying. I'm not I'm also saying that like I don't have to like plan out a topic at the start of the video and like what, what I do try to do now a little more often is I try to like set up uh, or at least think of a question of the day that gives me a good sort of vibe for the rest of the video. Something to kind of something to kind of flow off of or, or I'll kind of just like go into something that I've been like sort of talking about with my friends or talking about um, to my girlfriend or like playing that day or something like I kind of spoke a little bit yesterday about Elden Ring, and I kind of want to speak, speak more about it now, just because it's just so fantastic. I'm loving it so much. How many how many of you out there have played it? I realize I'm late to the party, so probably a lot of people that want to play it have already played it by now. It's my first Souls-like game, so I'm kind of getting my ass kicked in some regards, but still, it is quite the experience. Dude, game. Is that like the third or fourth active we've seen? It's always when I'm playing Lilith. Always. That's a really good uh, active as well that I'd kind of like to take. The game is trolling today. It's trolling. Uh, the curvy shots. They make no damn sense. I'm trying to think of the last film that I went to see at cinema that was really disappointing. It's been a while. It's been a while. I did go see Multiverse of Madness recently, and that was a film that I thought was going to be really disappointing because I, I, the the like the first like twenty minutes of the film really didn't grasp me, but by the end I I, I kind of loved it. I thought it was really good. Oh, another film that was really good that I, like I know I'm always talking about bad films, but now I'm onto good films. Another film that was really good that I don't I don't know if it got a theatrical theatrical release everywhere, and um, so I don't I, I I hope those of you that um that can watch it. Do. I'm not even sure if it's still in cinemas now because I went and watched it a few weeks ago. It's called like Everything Everywhere All at Once and oh my god was that film like it was like film of the year for me. It was so good. Basically, it's um It's about uh, An Asian family that's like come to America and like opened up like a laundromat sort of thing um, Like a like a coin a coin operate a coin op whatever you want to call them um, yeah, it's kind of opened up one of them, and they're kind of struggling, and it's not really the American dream that they, they, they thought it'd be. Um, and then, like, they go to, like, an auditing office also. I will take this and smash a bunch of these on me. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. That's pretty good. Um, the Crooked Penny one is going to be kind of spicy. But, yeah, they go to, like, a um, an auditing office uh, to, like, get their taxes done or whatever, and the, 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 the I think they're being audited um, sort of thing because they can't pay their bills. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how America works. It's complicated. <laughs> and anyways, like, her husband is like kind of a wimp. He's a, he's very like non-confrontational. He's, he's a really nice guy, but like he doesn't really get stuff done because he's, he's, he's very, doesn't really confront it or anything like that. And then like at one point in the film, she gets like past a note that says like, put your, sh ooh, yeah, I'll take that. She gets it past a note that says something along the lines of like, put your shoes on backwards, put this thing in your ear and and like think of another place. And she travels into a parallel universe and it's all about her husband from a parallel universe that came to hers to hire her to be a, um, to be like an assassin, like a, a hitman that goes to other parallel universes and takes out threats. And the main threat is a version of her own daughter in a parallel universe that, that um, she kind of like became the singularity of parallel universes where she can see like, she sees and experiences every parallel universe at once. So she's in like constant pain and like, uh, but she's got like ridiculous powers. She's learned to like control it. Uh, but one of the cool things about it, I mean, if it doesn't sound cool already, which I think it already does, but one of the cool things about it is, like, they can, um, they can, like, sort of micro-jump to other parallel universes to learn skills off of their parallel selves. So, like, in one bit, she's just a regular woman, but then she, she uses one of these jumps to jump to another parallel universe to, um, learn the skills of one of her other selves that is, like, a judo ma master, like a karate master. Um, 
and then proceeds to like beat the shit out of everyone. It's just, oh, it's just really, it's a really, really hard concept to describe properly and make it sound coherent and interesting, but it, it's a lot of fun. It was really, really cool. Um, and else, it's also just like really funny as well. I don't think Cupid's Arrow does anything for us. We've already got piercing. Um, yeah, it's just like it was a really fun, um, like really funny film as well. They had a lot of, a lot of comedy. Because one of the one of the interesting things as well is the way in which the um, performer jump to a parallel universe is they have to do something really weird. They have to do something like really, really out of character and really off key, so that ooh, very nice. Um, so that like. They don't... It's, it's hard to explain. So that they're not on their timeline. So they're not doing something that they should be. So, like, when you see different people that are coming to stop her from other parallel universes, they're constantly having to do really weird things in order to, um, like, learn new skills and jump. Um, and, like, one of them is, like, she's, like, fighting a guy and then she needs to... I can't remember what she needs to learn how to do now. I think she like, like needs to learn chiropractory or something to like crack this guy's back to get him off her. Uh, and so like a fly lands on his face and she just snorts it. <laughs> and like another one, there's um there's a, a an award in the auditing office because basically all of these fight scenes happen within this auditing office. And there's like a probably should have bought Steam Sale first, but oh uh, well. Um, there's like a fight scene in this auditing office. Uh, and there's an award on the desk that's basically like a world's biggest asshole award because it's like treating the auditors like they're all just horrible people. Um, oh, Dom, Mick, you got me. You got me. And it's literally just an award in the shape of a butt plug. And at one point in the film, <laughs> one guy's like losing a fight. And so to learn his skill, he just fucking pulls his pants down and just runs across the room and jump plunges ass first onto this butt plug award and oh my god it sounds really weird and it is but it was hilarious like my god it was the, like the funniest bit of the film but also it was like really wholesome like the film was really wholesome it was really self-contained as well because it was only with the same few actors um in the same few places even the it was across multiple parallel dimensions. It, it, but it, like, it managed to be so small and so wholesome and like so connected because it was like all about this one family really. Um, like the the mother being kind of the main character of the one that kind of saves everyone. The dad being the, the other guy from the parallel universe that kind of comes to get her to help. And the daughter being the... Um, being the... Like the, the the enemy, so, so to say. Obviously, the her real daughter, the non-parallel universe one, isn't an enemy, isn't like evil, but the stopping her daughter. But there's also like the grandpa's part of it as well. He's like also part of the parallel universe thing. It's a it's it's just a real bizarre adventure. But goddamn, it was just mighty entertaining. So we're going dark room, yeah. That's actually really nice for us. Quickly check this out. Oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Not got enough time for this, uh... Damn it, I was really hoping for a lump of coal there. Pair throw of these. Mmm. Rimmer Baby's great, because it's another familiar. But friendly sack. After, e after each third completion spawns a random weak familiar. Dip, blood clot, fly. If a boss room... Found a random charmed monster. We've also got some things in the corners that I didn't see as well. I'm gonna go with Rainbow Baby. I, a friendly sack is really good, but Rainbow Baby is literally more firepower, and it means more doublings. Like when we double, we get more out of it. This is gonna look really good. I love boss rush with this character. It's so fun. It's gonna get laggy. It's gonna get real laggy. I'm sure. But I'm all for it. I just need to take this out real quick. It's in the way. Oh, hello. Didn't see you though. Oh my god, the electricity. It's actually not lagging anywhere near as much as I thought it would. It's going to get more laggy, of course. <laughs> this is brilliant. But yeah, that is a film that, if possible, everyone should see. It's, it's so good. It's got a bit of everything for everyone. I also watched, um, I can't remember the name of the film now, I think it's, is it 1912? 19 something or other? 
It's the it's the like film that's about the um about the World War and the guy delivering the letter and it's all it's all in one shot. That film was also really good. Really, really good. My god, the frame rate is impeccable right now. Hello you. Oh, half soul heart? Hell yeah. Absolutely love that. Oh my god. Mega Fatty has been demolished. Can't have this many friends all the time. Oh my god, the Siren has a lot of boss armor. No, don't, don't do it. She tried to steal them from me. You can't have them, they're mine. A Rob Ross Worm, could you not right now? Brain Worm's doing a good job there. Okay, she was tough. She has a lot of boss armor. Anyways, that don't have boss armor though. It's literally just like when it's when it's a straight shot, it's literally like we've got a lightsaber. <laughs> Look at that, just a lightsaber. And we've got the hood as well. We are a Sith Lord. I haven't really been keeping up with Obi-Wan actually. That's another thing that I need to watch, really. Almost lost the Immortal Heart immediately. That's another thing I need to keep up with. I watched like the first few episodes. I don't really get into it, but I've heard that it gets a lot better, so I really need to get back to it. I really enjoyed like Mandalorian stuff. Mandalorian was really good. I, ha I still haven't watched Boba Fett either. I'm big into Star Wars as well, so I don't really know why not. I've always been big into Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was like... I think that was the first like sort of bit of media other than the films that blew my mind. Like, what a good game. Did anyone ever play that? And I don't mean the newer one. I mean the old, the classic PS2 one. Such a good game. And, and, one thing that still baffles me to this day, because I, I do go back and play it on occasion. Look at all these jaw burns. I do go back and play it on occasion. One thing that still baffles me is it has really good AI. Nothing has good AI nowadays. Are we going to get the full circle? Yeah, like, nothing has good AI nowadays. How did they make their AI good? What did they do differently that other places aren't doing? Tell them your secrets. Okay. Goodbye, my children. It was nice having you. We have returned to normality. Very sad. Very sad indeed. Oh, but yeah, PS2 was like... Oh, those were the days of gaming. I've spoken about this a little bit before on the channel as well, but it's just like they just don't make games like that anymore. I feel like that's a proper old man thing to say, and it might be. I'm get <laughs> I'm only 24, but I do feel like I'm getting to that age where I'm like, oh, the younger generations just don't know anymore, sort of thing. It's it's kind of bad, really. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy how like at at like 16, 17, whatever, you're like, oh, I'll never be like that. You will, guaranteed, 100%. Once you hit like. 23, 24, 25, you're immediately going to be like, what the fuck are the kids these days doing? Like, it's crazy. Like, just Gen Z humor, Gen X humor, is it Gen X? No, Gen, Gen X? Yeah, Gen X. Gen X humor is just the most bizarre thing to ever exist. It's, I can't comprehend it. <laughs> it goes right over my head. But yeah, like PS2, oh. Like I said, it sounds old man, it old, old man style of me, but it's it's just like I feel like games just had such character, and I feel like I feel like it's mainly because like then a lot more games were created for passion because gaming wasn't huge, like it wasn't it wasn't small. Obviously, it was still crazy, but it's not like it is now. Um, or Babylon's a good pickup here. And we'll take that. And we'll take... I'll take an Anzus, why not? Um, yeah, and I feel like now it's just so much more about the, the larger companies, the, the big companies just making all the money. So all the big companies don't really make good games anymore. I'm not saying they all make bad games, but, like, there's not as many good games coming out of the bigger companies now. Um, and it's just, yeah, it, it just there's not as much heart or passion put into the projects. And it, it, it is sad to see. It's sad to see because I just I just feel like how do I not finish this room? I just feel like yeah, PS2 games a lot of them just had so much character, so much heart in them, um, and a lot of them were like I don't know this for a fact because I was a kid at the time, but a lot of them were kind of released as just like eh, oh well, 
We'll see how this does. It might not do great, whatever. We, we enjoyed making it. Whereas that's just like not something that happens outside of small indie teams anymore. Going back uh, onto the PS2 and just having a good old time is always, always great. I did miss out on the... Um, on the the GameCube, that that's that's an, an era of gaming that I'm always a little jealous that I never got in on. I've never really been a Nintendo kid, to be honest. Um, I've always uh, been PlayStation. I've always liked Nintendo games and stuff, Nintendo products. I always had a Game Boy and a DS and played the Pokemon games, but not much outside of that, though. Really, not much outside of that. See, that was a that was an alpha player right there. Turned everything into coins. And then with the enemies, it turned everything into hearts. Hello? Gimme, 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 gimme. I want my babies. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Also, what is going on? We have an, immo we have an immortal golden uh, infested heart right there. That is, that is some strange UI going on. That is looking rather weird. Okay. You about to get wrecked, mother, if a Roboros worm doesn't mess us up. I think Hush is in the cards for us here. We haven't done Hush yet either, so. I think Hush is in the cards. I keep forgetting as well, like, nothing's hitting me and I'm like, why? It's because we have shielded tiers. Honestly, this this Immortal Heart is pretty god tier. Like, having having this, uh, this fly one as an Immortal Heart is really strong. Okay, I can. I'm going to try and get some extra money here. Come on. Ah, oh, ha, ha, now I've got no money. I had to gamble. I had to. You know me. What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh, I got a heart. Damn it. PJs is good for me. Leave. I'll take that now for the fire rate. Ooh. Now this... Oh, yes, please. Okay. I'll, I'll check the shop just to be upset. Lawful. I love lawful. But, oh no, I'm even more upset now. Also, is Kirby, is Kirby doing the little jig? Kirby, do it again. <laughs> go Kirby, go Kirby, go. Okay, I'm a little sad now because if I'd have had money, I'd been able to upgrade some of these familiars and that would have been pretty awesome. And I didn't come in here with a charge either, which upsets me. I might be able to get some money out of this though. Make sure we pick it up before the room ends so we don't crooked penny at all. Damn it! Stole it all away from me again. This is really cool with the fire. What a great item to pair with this. I don't think there's any way this guy hits us. There's going to be so much fire and lasers destroying the shots. I think we can pretty much chill. Honestly, don't know what I did, but frame rate, it's like not perfect, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Not even close. Awesome. I'm just going to keep on you like that. It literally looks like he isn't even shooting. It's like he's given up trying. Come on, I need one of, I need one of the green ones to proc. You can do that for me, can't you? There you go, there you go. Okay, 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 okay. We got something going. I really hope it doesn't delete all these ones on the floor, because that could be a lot of money for us. Oh no, we lost our heart. Dude, these lasers are way too quick for me right now. Oh, wait, what? Everything got re-rolled. What happened then? Do I have something that does that? I'm confused. I'm very confused. What happened there? PJs was a good to leave. Thank God I did. Gotta pump it up. Okay, we got one fully upgraded. I will take lawful because it's hilarious. Basically, 
future floors have all of the exact same um, item pool. Create some crazy stuff. Uh, we're going dark path, right? Yeah, 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 yes. Let's go. This could be a little wacky depending on what item pools we end up getting. But yeah, the perka chips helped us out a lot there. Probably didn't need to use that there, but there you go. Oh, and now, now it triggers multiple times. Now we're on 50 coins. Thanks. Well, at least we got enough to buy what we wanted, but still. It's the principle of the thing. Shouldn't have as big a trouble with this guy as we did last time. Wait, we got Twisted Pear. Where did Twisted Pear come from? I think Cambian Conception gave us Twisted Pear. That's awesome. I asked for a Twisted Pear, and I received a Twisted Pear. I didn't even know Cambian Conception could give you Twisted Pear. I mean, it makes sense, but I never thought about it. That's so good. Okay, the fires are pushing this guy around like crazy. He's really not having a good time of it. He is, he's kind of stuck. With this much effects going on, all the fire and everything, the lasers, I'm really surprised the game's doing as well as it is. Oh, this coming down mod. Thank you for ever suggested this mod to me. It is making a hell of a difference. I can actually see what's going on now. And so can you guys. Because on Shoal especially, it's very hard to see what the hell's going on. It's still a little tough with, with uh, how the screen looks right now, but you know, it's better. See? Couldn't really see that one coming. We got back to the full health. Right, so these Devil Deal items will, won't be Devil Deal items. They'll be something else. Let's hope for secret room items. Give us an R key, maybe. That's a secret room item. That's not. They are all secret room items, actually. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Do I re-roll these? I do now have Twisted Pear. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Flip doesn't do anything in this room. Why did I think it did? Okay. Let's charge up D6 and re-roll those bad boys and try and get something good. I can't believe we got the secret room pool. We could get something crazy here. Just trying to charge up my boy. Yeah, I'm gonna say we have plenty of power here. We didn't need the uh, space bar item. The rerolls are far more valuable to us. Okay, back we go. Probably get like two or three attempts at this. There's red key. I... Red key's good, but I think we roll deeper. Okay, good. Oh, Blastasis. So, to be fair, Bastos isn't that bad. He's annoying if he jumps, but otherwise... He's got a bit of boss armor. Nothing we can't handle. This this is just glorious. Being able to see this much crap going on the screen. My game not running at 10 FPS. Like, it's running at like 4, 45, maybe? Which is way higher than normal, so I'm, I'm very happy. Come on. Another big reroll. Let's go. A re-roll is all I need. And we got a chest there as well. Nice. Prevents curses from appearing for the rest of the room. Preventing a curse grants you a damage increase. Whoa, that's really good. Just kind of took that one on the chin, didn't I? One more room. We can head our way back again. This 
is an uber powerful run. It's like, I know I've got the win already, but like, this run's so fun. If I get an Arky, I'll definitely take it. Lawful, potentially coming in clutch. Okay, another chest. Spawn three soul stones. Soul of Isaac. Okay. We Soul of Isaac first, and then we re-roll. We got Spin Down Dice. Not good enough. TM Trainer. TM Trainer. Hmm. Saucy. Damn, we're not really getting one. I, I just forget, this. with mods, there's so many items in the secret room pools now. It's very hard to get specific things. I'm really looking for, like, a Death Cert or an R key here. Then I'd be happy, but I'm not sure if I have enough rooms for a charge left. I think I do. By the, by the looks of it with this double room, I think I do. Whoa, he's making some noises. That's slightly unpleasant. I'm surprised Bighorn doesn't have a boss out, but I suppose it's based on more so on where he shows up in the game than his physical size. Ooh, double chest drop. Boom bow. Well, we got rock bottom regardless. I wasn't really thinking about the, the fact that the chests we open also contain secret room items. So we got rock bottom, which I don't think rock bottom means too much to us right now. But it's nice to have regardless. That's a lot of pennies. And they're gone. <laughs> and it's gone. Okay. Okay. We should be pretty close now. Rerolling four at a time, we should be pretty close now. Or not. Or not. That's probably our last reroll. If I were to bet, that's probably our last reroll. I think we probably have maybe four or five more rooms left. And that one doesn't even give us a charge. Maybe not even four or five. Maybe even two or three. Holy shit, that guy's bouncing around like crazy. So much fire power. Okay, more rooms than I, than I thought are left. Still doesn't mean we're going to get a charge though, I don't think. We could get more chests, yeah. Unfortunately, that's the end of the road. End of the line, boys. End of the line. Second secret room, real quick. Checking it out if I can find it. Soleon of Apollyon. What the hell? That wasn't fair. <laughs> there was a hit. There was an invisible Dominic. That's not okay, game. That's not okay. That's devious. I feel like I missed there. Okay, I'm not all that sure where my secret rooms are here. I'm really not all that sure. God damn. Oh, there's one. I did give us a charge, but still not enough. Still not enough. Okay. Um. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I have to try and find my second secret room, but I don't know where that'd be. Something's wrong. There's just so many places it could be right now. Hmm. Tested all of those. Maybe it's at the end of this corridor here. There's rocks in this room. What the hell? What the dickens is going on here? Where is it? There it is. 
Damn you. I tried my hardest, people. I did. I tried it. But it was not meant to be. Today was not our day. We don't have Nun's Habit either, so... No self-damage tactics coming in clutch. Maybe we'll get Void. Maybe we'll get Void. But I doubt we'll get Secret Room Pool in the Void. I have to say. I think it's unlikely. How is the Mini Isaac still kicking as well? We're doing a good job. That was a really good bomb there. I didn't really mean to time it to hit both segments, but the fact that it worked that way, perfection. Okay. It's kind of hard to hit all the shots incoming with this guy. <laughs> I love the way that the fire sometimes is just absolutely massive. I think the sprites scale with damage or something. Ah, damn it, no void. Either way, very fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.